All right, quick question. Have you ever wondered how companies like Netflix, Amazon, or Twitter don't crash when millions of people use them at the same time? Or how your banking app somehow stays secure even when hackers try to break in? That's where technical architects come in. They're the behind-the-scenes masterminds who design how all the tech fits together. And no, they don't just draw fancy diagrams all day. There's a lot more to it. So, if you're curious about what a technical architect actually does, stick around. Because by the end of this video, you'll not only understand their role, but also whether this might be the perfect career for you. Alright, in this video we're gonna break down what a technical architect actually does, without the confusing jargon. How they solve real-world problems using examples from Netflix, Amazon and more. And if you should consider becoming one. Sound good? Let's get into it. Alright, imagine this. You're building a massive Lego city. You've got different teams, one handling roads, another on buildings, one for electricity. But if there's no plan on how these things connect, it's a disaster. A technical architect is like the city planner. They don't build every piece themselves, but they decide how everything should be structured so it works together smoothly, securely, and at a scale. Their job is to answer big questions like, how do we make sure this app doesn't crash when millions of users log in? How do we keep data safe from hackers? How do we connect all these different systems without slowing everything down? In simple terms, a technical architect designs the blueprint for how software systems work, just like an architect designing a city. Let's take Netflix as an example. When you press play, Netflix doesn't just stream directly from one giant computer. That would be way too slow and crash instantly if millions of people did it at once. Instead, technical architects at Netflix designed a system that stores copies of videos across different regions, so they load faster for you, uses load balancing to spread traffic across multiple servers. Think of it like traffic cops directing cars to avoid jams optimizes video quality based on your internet speed, so you don't buffer every 5 seconds. They didn't build Netflix's app line by line, but they made sure the whole system is fast, scalable, and reliable. So, what does a typical day look like for a technical architect? They design systems, figuring out which technologies to use and how everything fits together. They solve bottlenecks. If the app is slow, they find out why and how to fix it. They collaborate with engineers, helping developers build things the right way from the start. They think about security, scalability, and performance, making sure the system won't break under pressure. Think of them like the brains behind the operation, not just coding, but making big picture decisions about how everything should work. Alright, so should you become a technical architect? Well, ask yourself, do you love solving complex problems? Are you good at seeing the big picture instead of just writing code? Do you enjoy working with different teams? Developers, project managers, and business leaders? Do you want to step up from coding to designing entire systems? If that sounds like you, this might be the perfect next step in your career. So, how do you actually become a technical architect? Here's a simple roadmap. One master the fundamentals. You need strong experience in programming, databases, APIs, and cloud computing. Think AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud. 2. Learn system design. Understand how big tech companies structure their software. Books like Designing Data Intensive Applications are a great start. 3. Get hands-on experience. Start thinking like an architect in your projects. Even if you're just a developer now, ask. How would I design this for a scale? Moving to architecture roles. Look for roles like solution architect, tech lead, or enterprise architect to build leadership skills. 5. Stay curious and keep learning. Technology evolves fast. The best architects stay ahead by always learning. So, now you know. Technical architects don't just code. They design the big picture strategy that makes apps fast, scalable, and secure. And if you're a developer looking to level up, this might be the best career move for you. Now, if you're interested in learning system design from scratch, 
Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell. See you in the next one.